With this, there is no need for glitching anymore. Gold and legendary weapons, stacks of everything, and this is the updated save file with even more stuff for you. This is for PS4 only, but if you're on PC, check the description below this video for the PC version video link. Patient and time has came through again guys with this game save file and great instructions on how you can get gold weapons, stacks of everything, and 100% completion of the game instantly guys. This includes a 14,000 damage semi-auto shotgun. Over 400 gold weapons are included in this video alone. Check the description below this video for Patient and Time's channel link. Check them out. And hit me up on Snapchat, Redneck on Snap, and on Twitter and Instagram, Redneck Ordinary. Here is Patient and Time as he's going to show you exactly how to get his mod safe on your PS4 for Dying Light. Patient and Time, the floor is yours, my man. Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Patient back at it again. I'm showing you guys my new updated Dying Light save. This is for base game and enhanced edition. The base game has US and EU regions. The enhanced edition only has US, so I apologize for the EU enhanced edition users, but I am looking for someone who can help me make the enhanced edition save on EU. So if you are one of those people and are willing to help, contact me below in the comments or on my social medias that will be linked below in the description. So this has a big update. As you, I don't know if you guys read my social medias or anywhere else I post on next gen update, etc. I said I will be making an update save with gold firearms, and this is the new update. Each each region of save has the exact same stuff. The enhanced, I mean, the engraved semi-auto shotgun. This is on EU and US of the base game, and on this enhanced edition save that is only US based. Gee, that was a tongue twister. <laughs> My bad guys, but now let's get into the stash. I did add a few extra 900,000 stacks of items. The exploding trap bomb was new. There is a lot of new stuff, but there is a lot of the same stuff. Everything in there that was in the previous save is still there. And there's just added more. The advanced police rifle right there is a new one. The biting blizzard is a new one. And of course, this is not all of the gold weapons still and all of the firearms. I will be adding them gradually as we go. The candy cutter. The composite German pistol. The engraved semi-auto shotgun. Golden double barrel. Golden German pistol. Huron military rifle. As you guys can see, there's a lot of new stuff in here now. There's there's 280 before, and now there's 298 gold weapons, I think there is, last time I counted it. Don't quote me on that, but there's a lot more in gold firearms, which my save was lacking before. And now, I hooked you guys up with it. Marksman rifle, as you see right there. The oath breaker, right here. And also these oath breakers, certain gold firearms require a costume pack, such as like the, I forgot what it's called, but the, the western pack, or that's what I call it, but it's like a cowboy outfit. Certain guns like the ranger bow, etc. You will need that costume pack to use the weapon, but the save will, st I mean the save will still have the weapons. I do not have any costume pack in this game. I still have the weapons like the ranger bow right there. I just cannot use the said weapon in save. Rusty Spine. And that's pretty much it for the new gold tier guns. We're going to get into the new 900,000 stacks that I added. There's the Sick Bombs. The Kurtz Bombs. The, f the military throwing stars, I mean knives. The burning throwing stars, conducting liquid, exploding throwing stars, flammable liquid, freezing throwing stars. And that is pretty much all that's been updated to the save. My, e my US base game of the enhanced edition has a few more outfits than the other ones do. And that's due to the fact I made the save files after the events were over. 
So I do apologize about that guys, like this one right here. And like that one, that one's from the requisition packs. Some old bones. So some, some of these outfits are not on the other saves because they were made after they were released. Okay, what is up guys? So now I'm on the computer. I am showing you how to re-sign and import all three of those saves I showed you in the video. I actually only showed you my enhanced edition save, but they all have the same stuff. I cannot show you the other gameplays because I don't own those copies of games. I only own the enhanced edition. As of right now, I am showing you the, the saves pretty much. There is one in e, I mean EU and US for the base game, and I only have US inside enhanced edition and in this video i will import each one of them and each file in that directory so you guys do not get confused and there's not many not any mistakes but if there is still mistakes comment down below or contact me on my social media is listed below and i'll be glad to help you so as now i'm showing you the eu save i'm showing you the different title ids so make sure you have the correct title id based on the the folder you don't have to interchange the folders whatsoever the right title IDs are already in the exact same folder they should be in and the saves are already in zip files so they're all ready for you to go and start slaying, slaying some zombies or drop some weapons for people it really depends on what you're doing right now I'm plugging in my USB flash drive and I'm waiting for it to detect I have like 80 different flash drives plugged in so it might take a while but anyways, as you see, I close this out. I go to the Resign tab, make sure my USB drive is selected. And again, I do not show you how to add a profile to the man profile manager, but I'm just showing you to make sure I to tell you that you have to have your profile there. Now you hit the Resign tab, and then you also hit Import. Once you hit that Resign tab, the Import button will not be there underneath the cheat section so if you do not see that you're on the wrong tab and make sure you click resign and now once you hit import locate wherever you saved my mod pack at and make sure you choose the desired not really desired your exact game so if you have the enhanced edition choose that and if you choose the enhanced edition you have to be us based i really apologize about that and for base game you have two choices, so if you're from EU, anywhere outside the US, pretty much is considered EU. There's only two regions of this game, and base game, which is US and EU. So if you're not in the US, choose the EU version, and import it just like so. And I'm going to come back in the commentary once I'm done with the EU portion of this save. Okay, actually I forgot there were two files inside the EU save, so make sure you click import once again. Choose the same exact zip file, it should leave you in the same folder you just imported before prior. So choose that zip file again, and choose profile. You really don't have to do this, this is just your settings, like your inversion, your sensitivity and everything. But if you want, if you want to feel safe about it, you could import that and change the settings again, it's totally up to you. But you do not have to do that step alone as you get that co-op save. Pretty much the very first file I imported, you will be all good and you do not have to worry about the profile. That is optional, but it's totally up to you. Again, I'm going to come back and when the EU is finished. Okay, I am back. EU is now finished. As you see now, I'm selecting the import button again because I'm going to import the US region now. But if you are EU version, you do not have to do this additional step because you already have your saves and you can eject your flash drive out of your computer and plug it into your system and go to the application save data management. Go to save data on USB storage device and it copied a system storage and yes it will replace 
over any of your prior saves you have on there so if you do not want to lose any of those saves upload them to the cloud storage or back them up on the computer prior to doing this anyways guys now we're doing the US save it's pretty much the same for both regions except you're choosing different save files in the different folders you, you import the same exact pretty much the game save is actually called the same but it's just a different title ID and again you do not have to import the profile that is totally up to you but it is optional and again now I'm going to come back to the commentary once I am done importing the US and I'm going to move on to the enhanced edition of the saves thanks again Okay guys, I am back. The US region is now finished. Now I'm gonna choose import again. And also just like I said for the EU, if you are base game on the US region, you do not have to do this step. This is for the enhanced edition users. Go back to wherever you saved my download at. Choose Dying Light Enhanced Edition folder instead of the base game folder. And choose EU because that's the only thing that's in there. And I apologize again for the EU users. And like I said in the beginning of the video, if any of you guys are EU and you guys have the Enhanced Edition and are willing to help, comment down below or hit me up on my social medias. And yeah, we could, well, we could pump it out for the community, man. It, it's pretty easy. It takes about a couple of hours if everything goes well. And I would appreciate it if you know how to do the Ethernet stash duplication glitch. That's been around for a long ass time, and if you guys want me to make a video on that, I will do that, no problem. It is a really simple glitch, and I've got it pretty much down every single time. It's pretty simple now, except not everyone can do it. You have to have an Ethernet cable, so if you guys want me to make a video about that, let me know in the comments below. As you see now, I am importing the Enhanced Edition of the US save. I am importing the profile data, but that is totally optional. Like I said prior, make sure you only get that game save if that, that's the 100% priority. You don't have to do the profile data whatsoever. That is totally optional. I say that three times in the save. I'm just making sure I'm saying it once per save file. So I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it has to be done. But anyways guys, as soon as this is finished, we are done. You can plug them back into your system and go to application save data management. Under your system settings, go to save data on USB storage device, copy to system storage, and select Dying Light, the Enhanced Edition, or Base Game, etc. And you'll be done. Okay guys, thank you guys again for watching. Peace out. Have a nice day.